three willows to do something with. So these two on the right were cuttings, which I took, I'm not sure, last summer at some point. Um, as you can see, I didn't understand or didn't appreciate back then that these needed to be constantly wet. So they've had quite a bit of torrid summer last year. Um, however, once I've realized that they've been sat in water, you can see the roots at the bottom and growth is kicking in. However, I need to do something with both. And then this one, this was an online purchase. And it was much bigger than it is now. I cut it there. I have no idea what it did with the top cutting. But again, a lot of the lower branches died away because I just didn't appreciate how wet they needed to be. What I'm going to do today is a bit of hard pruning and then I'm going to give them a new location with one of my new row trays that I don't believe I'm just checking off camera no they don't have any holes in so they'll, they'll hold a lot of water so let me get set up right I'll start with the best of the bunch and it's this one here so it's got one two three branches and then a fist and a half gap and then quite a bit of growth at the top so as you can see, I think it's in shot. These do suffer dieback quite a bit. So, what I'm going to do is chop it about an inch and a half above the tallest of these branches. I'm going to try these new ratchet pruners that I've got. <laughs> I'm not feeling too convinced by them but let's have a look so inch and a half above chop 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 <laughs> smooth so I'm actually going to pop that in some water that will root and then who knows so I'll just pop that to one side. Right. That is all I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch the soil. I'm not even going to take the weeds out of the bottom. I am just going to give it a new home. Soak it in water. I probably don't need this pole anymore though. Ugh. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, and let it grow as much as it wants to through spring and summer. Um, I mean, you can see it's not got the greatest of shapes. It's got a slight bend. It's got a cut here. I'm not, I've never explored below the soil, so there could be something in the future. But we'd need the branches to... To loop and we need many many more branches so that's number one all right number two <sighs> obviously we had branches here and here I think there was one there and one the other side and they all died off because I just didn't know how to care for this that's died back so Again, I'm not really sure what the future holds for this. I 
goes off into a sort of, of a twin trunk, splits into a two there, or appears to, but actually that's a branch coming out the top. Um, I mean, it is a willow, so eventually it should all hang. It's got something growing there, which is good. What do you do? That is the question. And I think what I'm going to do is very simply do that. I don't want it going any higher there, nor there. Hopefully, I mean, we've got a branch here, branch here. What looks like a branch could be starting there, growth point. What I need is more branches and a branch there. So that, I think, is as simple as it gets. Right then, number three. Just so you see the growth, it's going all the way up the wall there. But a lovely branch low down. We've got another one that has been starting, but for some reason it appears to have stunted. We've got one here, but yeah, looks okay. Um, so the question is. What do I want to do? So that branch looks dead. Feels dead. So that's coming. Oh, that's coming off. Is dead. So I just tidy that up a little bit. I won't get too precise. Uh, there's a little bit of life. Uh, this one I'll leave. Do I really want this at the top is the question. It's always interesting when I'm watching videos on YouTube, I think, yeah, I'll do that. And then when I'm the one looking at the, the tree. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Using can do that. I'll let that die back because that's very straight, and then who knows what this will become? Maybe nothing. Take that back a bit more. Maybe nothing. But. If I zoom in, it's just beginning to rain. It'll be interesting to see what that little cutting becomes in the future, if anything. It might not do, and I'm quite prepared for that. Um, I'm making this these cuts knowing full well that it may never amount to anything but I think with with material like this so I'm just shutting my tool case to stop the water getting in with material like this I think it's a good learning experience so putting this in a, in a basin of water now and watching what happens both to the end I'm not going to use cut paste but as well to this branch and if any any branches will come out of the any other sides. I think will be quite interesting. You know what I'm also going to do? I'm going to go one step further. I'm 
and set the end off this. Stop that shooting off into orbit. And hopefully try and get a few extra branches to pop out along here. So let me decide where I'm going to set these up. So this is it. My little willow swimming pool at the top of the garden. Uh, this gets a, a hell of a lot of light here. The sun hits this the, the first or the earliest in the day. And I think these would do really quite well. So yeah, excited to see how they thrive in this new new spot and this this uh, plant bed. I'm not sure what you call it. I think it will do the job nicely. So yeah, um, just some other interesting things on here. We've got. This little beauty budding out. This one definitely needs a repot. Um, we've got over here this one budding out nicely as well. And I'm just wait awaiting delivery of a, uh, a Dremel so I can begin to do some work. Maybe carving the top. Anyway, thank you for watching.